Uh, hello and welcome everyone. This is Black Adder at Black Adder's Place and I'm here with yet another late night town brawl. This time it's on Saturday, not on Sunday the last day. So we should be able to finish with all the games that are before us. And well, this town brawl is supposed to be something about a battle at Tall whatever. So I guess let's head in and see what it is about. I have quite some quests that will be suitable for this Tavern Brawl, of course the one win 5 Tavern Brawl games, <laughs> that's kinda obvious. And well done, 3 wins of any game. So Battle of Tol Barat and Magical Creatures are escaping from Tol Barat. Ok, so it's something like Azkaban I guess. Uh, and play a minion and get a random spell of the same cost, but for free. Wow. Ok, so a lot of spells. And for free, we get some minions. Alright, so maybe something like summoning portal. I think I've noticed that somewhere. So let's see how that will work. And of course, I'm going to start with warrior here. And that might be slightly difficult. And enrage is kind of uh, useless. And it might actually be suited for some aggro play. Um. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Uh, how expensive spells do actually you have? There you have Brawl, okay. But it's actually not useful because you will probably summon a minion when you play it. Okay, so that's not all that cool. And I will probably have to play something fairly standard with Warrior to actually win here. Hmm. Curious, curious. Obsidian Destroyer, well, 7747, not that much. Iron Maiden, or rather Shield Maiden, is pretty cool though. Mortal Strike, most definitely, because it's spe is it spell? Death Spite, yep, that's a good one. Shield Block, of course, Bash, Charge, in this case, yes. Rothen Berserker never hurts, at least once, although I might want to replace him with something. Inspire, uh, ooh, no. No, that's actually not all that useful. But Heroic Strike, yes, Rampage, yes, Slam, yes. Will Taskmaster Armor Smith, of course. Alex Strasse's champion, uh, I don't really think so. And congrats Feb for rank number one. Maybe you'll make a legend today. And well otherwise revenge. All minions. Mm -hmm. Alright, why not? We are playing for the spells, come on, child. Be fun. Relief times two bolsters since we don't really have taunters and battle rage. Uh, wow, right now I have to actually remove some of those cardies here. That's going to be the frothin. Cruel Taskmaster Armor Smith could help somehow. Right now I want to include Fairy Warax because it's kind of a staple for this kind of map or oh, deck. And what are we going to remove? Commanding shout, probably, yeah. Battle Rage is kinda interesting at this point. So I might want to remove another commanding shout, shout another Battle Rage. And charge. It's 3 mana, so it could be useful. Some strong minions. Okay, I kinda want to give it a go with this deck and see how it totally wrecks. <laughs> and then replace it with something much more useful. Alright, let's see. And okay, Tavern Brawl, let's keep it, because we are playing against Hunters, so we might be seeing a lot of cheap minions, Cruel Taskmaster as a starter, and Revenge also. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this will develop for us. Yep, we have nothing to play so far. So I kinda hope that he will play something that I, that I can make proper use of. Chewbacca, well, that's about the right name. By this time, as in like three weeks, we should be in for the next Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Definitely looking forward to that. Well, so far, not really anything that we can play, so let's just shield up and wait for the opponent to play something that we can counter. Hmm. 
Okay, and he goes for basically standard phase hunter. Alright, and we will be easily able to kill it. And we actually want to play slam here to get a minion and revenge. Or revenge. Actually, revenge doesn't seem all that bad, although I would like to keep it. Because it's kinda... Oh, well. Yeah, I want to keep it. I'm just gonna play the two mana card here and get the minion. So what's it gonna be? Nothing. Uh, come on, shouldn't I have gotten actually a minion here? Or have I somehow mis misunderstood how this works? Or do you play minion and you get the spell? God damn it! Oh my, didn't I <laughs> understand it absolutely wrongly? Oh well, right now we're going to confirm. Yes. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a turbo fail. <laughs> hey, Spotty One Spotty. Okay, I build the deck oh, all the wrong way. Absolutely differently. And well, right now I have a lot of spells. Vian, I should have made a deck with a lot of minions. God damn it, how am I supposed to win do it? with this right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> well, that's a super fail. Okay, that kinda explains everything. Right now it's almost 3am, so it's kinda understandable. And where do you get actually third? Third wolf rider? God damn it. I'm getting a lot of them, but right now, revenge. <laughs> so let's kill them all, and well, that's going to be it. And really, what the hell am I supposed to do right now? I'm totally fudged. <laughs> kind of glad that I'm not the only one, Spoder Man. But at the same time, that's going to be a horribly painful game. And since I'm not in the mood of actually resigning anytime soon, I'm just going to play it out and... Well, Maybe I get somehow horribly lucky, although I don't really think so. <laughs> He's just having like a million wolf riders here. Million wolf riders are right there. Ahem. Alright, so probably slam into you. Face strike into you. So I don't really see any conceivable way I, I, how I can win this. Okay, so thanks for the mana, but <laughs> absolutely no use for it. And yeah, finally we're getting closer to actually dying. And two damage to everybody. We would need... Uh, oh, well... Or how is it called? God damn it. New spell that deals uh, three damage or two damage when I'm at like low health. But that's not really useful at this point. So I guess let's just battle rage and see what I can get as a spell. That's going to be a charge. Which does help. And bear trap, oh well. Strike. Not bad. Four, yeah, Strike. enough, so let's just do this. Bear trap and armor up. First damage to my opponent's face. <laughs> hmm. 
Ahem. Shield Maiden together with Brawl doesn't really help. Shield Block will give us some extra cards, so let's see. A Rampage. Well, that's not useful at all. So I uh, just guess we're going to go for Tavern Brawl. Or rather, <laughs> Normal Brawl. And that didn't go all that well. Or rather, all that bad. That's not really that very bad. But still, quite a lot of damage. And it's going to be a 3-2. That's 6-8 damage. And well, that's just 6 of lethal. Why did he actually delete? Just to give him 4 extra damage and thought steal here and what's going to be the next one? Another thought steal. <laughs> And cruel taskmaster, unfortunately. So he is slowly getting there. And rampage. Oh wow. Back to work. Okay, so that's 11, 13. Oh no, just 11, 13. Yeah, and what do you have next? Some zero mana. Oh yeah, he does have enough here. Probably something to finish me off. Now just bless of wisdom. Okay, so let's work some magic. Rampage confuse. We can turn him around at least a bit. That's not all that problematic. Mortal strike. We can actually kill him right off. So that's just goodbye. You. I can take the hit. And you. And ball of spiders, which is kind of useless at this point. And he has just the extra six damage that he needs. So finally we will be in to actually replace our useless deck with something that might actually have a chance at working. And I'm gonna have to reread because I completely misread the description of this tavern bro, god damn it. How is that possible? <laughs> well that's a pretty good array of spells. At least he didn't win that. That's the small victory for us. Yep, and there it is. Okay, so let's just reiterate. And hopefully we'll do slightly better next time. Yeah, that wasn't a cool game. Magical creatures are escaping. Play a minion and get a random spell. God damn it, how I could have how could I have actually misread this? <laughs> oh well. Here we go. So goodbye everything and let's put up some normal deck. And yeah, I kinda think it should be something aggro. So hopefully it will work out this time for us. So Enrage is going to make an appearance here. And otherwise, Fury Vorax most definitely. Heroic Strike together with it. Groot Taskmaster, yes. You're holding a dragon. Are we going to have dragons? I don't really think so. Prothane. Uh, what's played in such a deck? I, should, I think she'll block as well. Charge might not be half bad. Bash also. Although I'm not all that sure about that. Despite. Yep. Mortal Strike. Yes. Arathi Weaponsmith is, I guess, a good one. Or Kron most definitely should made a node as an expensive Korhal once, why not? Arcane Treeper twice, yes, and right now some extra chargers in it. Is if Sergeant, maybe. Be a bit later. Wolf, Iron Wolf Alfano. Uh, probably just the Wolfies here at this point. The three ones. I 
otherwise I'm not really seeing anything that could be all that extra useful. I'm just going to have a look at Leroy later on, because he would be a pretty good addition to this deck. And yeah, Wolf Rider, that's what I want. Ancient Shade, oh, that does have some kind of idea behind it. 7-4 could actually work pretty nicely, a Dark Iron Dwarf as well, so let's see how we can actually make this somehow better. Yeah, like removing the charge. Gormok, probably not going to have 4 units in there. Kazan Mystic against Hunters, but yeah, it's not really all that assured at this point. Well, I guess that's just going to be Leroy, and he's going to make room, or rather be replacing who? Dark Iron Dwarf times one, or weapon? Hmm, Iron Dwarf. Okay, let's try this. So this, that should be some kind of aggressive warrior that might be working. And finally, we have a worthy opponent. And well, it's going to be undoing, so that's going to be a crap ton of healing for him, which is not really good news for our aggro deck. And uh, worth, worse things, worst, it actually could be a dragon po uh, priest, which I don't think would be the worst kind of option for him. And well, Fury Vorax, yes, no, no, Frostin, yes, that could work. Now do we get Death Spite and Leroy? Oh, uh, that's not ideal. Greetings. Could have gone slightly better. And the question right now remains if we want to go in and into the Fury Vorax when we don't have anything for the next turn. I don't think so. Right now I would kinda like maybe to use uh, the coin, maybe to put up for a Thin Berserker about now. Oh, but this is basically a bait for Fury Vorax. But at the same time, for Thin Berserker, if he receives some extra damage here, he could be pumped up into like 4 or 5. Oh. Ah, that's not worth it. Let's just say goodbye to you. The damned stand ready. Yeah, Cultis is at this point pretty strong. I'll be looking to get rid of the Fiery Vorax so that we can next turn use uh, the Death's Bite. And well, that means... Bye. And well, do we play the Frothin at this point? I kinda like it. Because it will at least make him think. And what do we get? An Emble Companion? Oh wow! That's actually not half bad. Let's go for it. Uh, and it is Summon Hafra. So do we go face? Or do we control? If we control, we actually put Berserker at 4 4. Which is not half bad. That's a pretty good trade at this point. It's actually a pretty good trade because it will protect the Berserker and potentially give us some opportunity to make him even stronger. Through damage to some other minion with weapon or heroic strike or whatnot. So that's you. Okay. We can kill you through Dark Iron Dwarf. In a secret. Oh well, that's bad news. Hmm. That sucks, those 5 health there. And if it's a freezing trap, then I'm totally screwed. Then I'm what totally now? screwed. But since we have the Mortal Strike here and Death Spite, I'm kinda tempted just to use the Death Spite here. 
see what happens. Hopefully it's explosive trap. Yep, it is. Great. That was exactly what I was hoping for, so that I would get slightly stronger for Thimberserker. And yeah, let's go face. I want to kill him. I have at this point pretty good hand, because that's 4 damage, potentially 8 extra, that's 12, and then Leroy, and extra 4 damage, 4 more strikes, so we might be able to piece it together actually, if he doesn't have something like... Oh, holy fire, I think. God damn it, where did you get this? <laughs> and low tap. Yeah, that's a shame. I was hoping to use the heroic strikes. Gore how? Well, hello. Well, hello, that's actually lethal, isn't it? Next turn, due to the coin. Because you have 4 with 6, that's going to be 10. And that's going to be 7. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh no, I have to play Leary first, because I will be killing the 1-1 one -one beasties. Yep. So, goodbye, one once, and assassinate is going to help. And, well, let's see if he has some taunter. If he doesn't, then he's pretty much screwed. Or some extra healing. He could potentially also have Holy Nova. But that wouldn't allow him to heal above my lethal. So, still, we are in the range. Please, please, don't have a taunter. No taunter, no taunter, please. This looks promising. Yeah, this looks cool. And healing circle. Shield ball. God damn it. Ah, just escaped from me. But if he goes full face and he's toast, he doesn't. Oh, uh, wow. So this got slightly uglier than I have thought. But still, we have. Ish, we have eight. God damn it, that would be just enough if we had enough mana. One mana short, god damn it. Actually, no, because we are at low health. He helped us, and we have six. Okay. Okay, six. Ah, oh, that's ten. Yeah, just too short. Oh, this sucks. Well, right now we need to survive this turn. So I guess let's assassinate on this girl, because she can't really survive here. I must then... Aratio and Smith, and next turn we will be having enough, so I'm just going to shield up and cover for safety. Next turn we will be having enough, and I just really have to hope that he doesn't have the taunter this time. Because you see, if he does have him... Actually I'm pretty much fine, sorry. <laughs> I have must dispel. So I'm pretty much set up for actually victory here. And I don't see how he could actually spoil that at this point. Unless he has some super high heal. And he is not healing himself. Okay, so that's a GG. Nice. Oh, and he can actually rub it in with double mortal strike. Yeah, that's a fun way to win this. <laughs> and we had like a million ways to actually kill him. Gore Howl and those two heroic strikes. And well, that was kind of easier than I would have thought playing against a priest. <laughs> and here's the pack. So hopefully it's going to be like second useful pack in all those... 24 brawls, if I remember correctly. Oh no, these are just quests, open packs. But if the luck, the luck is going to stick with the way it is so far, it's just going to be another completely crap pack. Yeah, I already have all of those, of course. And yes, it's a crappy pack. Thank you very much for nothing. And let's just continue with the other heroes then. So that was a pretty successful brawl with this guy, and we are switching into Shaman this time. And Shaman has quite a lot of quite useful guys. Uh, Earthshock is kinda a must. 
uh, this lightning bolt and rock biter. But then, does devil... Uh, that's to overload, no thank you. But flame tank totem, of course. Zepomatic, yes. Totem golem, yes. Hex. Or spirit. Not really a lot of minions so far, I have to be careful about that. But Unbound Elemental is cool, Dune Mole Shaman as well, and guard. Yep, Fire Guard. Looking at your Unbound Elemental here, slightly. Slightly looking at you, but you won't probably be all that useful as I hope. So how about I go for some standard units? Probably one acidic swamp boost doesn't hurt. Now we are thrown for a defense. Well, he could help us in the early game. But at this point, I might probably be looking at something else. These guys are pretty cool to actually acti activate in totems. And I'm again kinda aiming for some aggressive build here. So actually, uh, uh, abusive sergeant, why not? Creeper juggler. Not really. Not really. At this point... It seems to be decently aggro. But what we are missing is Crackle. That's a crack load of damage that could be useful. Which means one less Anna will drawn. And that's kinda spell heavy. So not really taking advantage of everything properly, but let's see if that could be enough. Let's give it a go. It's kinda random deck, not really any super thought behind it. Yeah, I also believe in it, but <laughs> so far it's not really working in my favor. Last time in Brawl, if I remember correctly, it didn't all that well for me either. So hopefully this time it will be slightly better, but the combo is brewing. Rockbiter and Veiling Zepomatic. So that could potentially be fun. An Earthshock to prevent some taunters could be fun. Let's see if that will work out. I will probably pop out Veiling Zepomatic on the first turn. If he doesn't play something that would counter it. I greet you. He doesn't, okay. Well, let's put you up and put up the combo. Alright, power over the wild. <laughs> Not bad. I think it was Firebat in that legendary game with the Zepomatic that he actually won at like turn 4 or 5 against his opponent uh, due to double rock biter weapon and something extra on that. Well, Copat. <laughs> That's basically just an expensive draw card, but since it's for 0 mana. And Earthshock, hello. That's exactly where I want to use you. No way! <laughs> okay, so that was the first then done on second turn. Is working quite decently so far, Void Walker. Alright, we have another Earth Shock to go for it, but we could use <laughs> the other. The other Rock Biter weapon as well at this point. Yeah, okay, thank you. But we are at this point looking at Power of the Wild as well. Yeah, <laughs> Spodeman, that's true. 
there might be <laughs> molten giants waiting for me, but so far they aren't, and this is right now going to result in an Oiltron. Battle Rage, not bad, but Power of the Wild with extras so that you can't kill it through Mortal Coil. Another Earth Shock. And we are continuing. No way! Now let's just card up. Job's done. Okay. So far, so good. Well, I actually don't know how this works with the discounts. If they would be getting 20 mana spells or 0 mana spells. Or whatnot, something like that. I kind of think they might be they might be getting of the actual cost. Sacrificial pact, so he is healing up because he was in the range. But with abusive surgeon in here, that's six, that's twelve, and that's lethal because we have crackle. And right now he even helped us, so that's a pretty good GG. <laughs> and well, that's the magic of Berlin Zipomatic. Right in the action. <laughs> well, I kind of feel sorry for my opponent for this game, but it was pretty funny to be honest. I didn't expect this to work so well, and well, the early combo worked like a charm. Okay then. Well, that was kind of easy, so let's switch into the rogue now. That's probably going to be something rather standard. Uh, backstep kinda has to be in, because there's really no way, and shadow step could be super useful in here. And I kinda think I'm going to go for something aggro, and some basically returns to hand and whatnot, so early kill, sinister strikes and whatnot, eviscerate of course. Bukanir, yep. Late flurry, just to save my ass. Sub to remove possible taunters. Goblin Auto Barbie, yep. The Fire Sink Reader. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Potentially, why not? We'll see. Size 7 Agent, though, is kinda a must. Big Master, oh, well, yeah. Assassin's Blade, probably not all that useful. Assassinate at least once, and I think. Shadow Pan Rider, uh, Panda Yep, that's a pretty good one. Skulker is not half bad, even though he doesn't deal direct damage to the enemy. But not, that's not all that super useful. And Anubar could actually help us with returning some of the uh, chargers into our hand. Abusive Sergeant, and right now we will have to uh, rethink what we have in the deck. Arrow of Alpha, no. Interesting. Ah, Arcane Golems, of course. Of course. Wait, sorry, I'm gonna go. Defias as well. Defias as well, and that will result in whom? In the three ones again. So, where do I have you? About here. Ancient Shade. Well, he's tempting in the kind of deck that I am building. But not as much as I would have probably hoped. But at this point, uh, this deck is pretty much pretty cool. Tinker Sharp Sword is pretty expensive for what I would like it to do. So oh, let's give me some others, like Leroy, quite assuredly. Okay, that might be about it. Alright, let's see how this aggro is going to work. Bye. 
Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your. And it's going to be Jaina, so that could be slightly difficult due to the array of spells. But if anything, he has learned from this Tavern Brawl, it could be the Mech Mage with a lot of mechs, cheap ones. And well, out of this, Think Master, no. Rather, Tinker's Sharp Sword, what not. What not. Wolf Rider, yes. SI7 Agent, yes. Could help. Well, not twice though. This is right now pretty horrible hand. Pleasure is mine. Yeah, I just do that with pretty much every Tavern Brawl. Just the only one that I haven't been able to finish uh, to the fullest was like a month ago, where I just started playing too late at like 3. It was actually the week when the time was changing, the summer time was ending. And yeah, I just mis mismanaged there and needed one more hour to actually finish with the last line. But, well, I couldn't, so that was that, unfortunately. And I actually finished with the broken tavern brawl. Actually, when you play after the opening hours, you just end up with completely broken screen of the tavern brawl. It's just like a half-closed window or whatnot, and a lot of blackness. <laughs> and kind of something that probably the people who designed it did not count with. And oh well, what the hell? Where did that come from? That cold blood. But I can get it rid of you, so that's at least slight luck for me. Ha, this guy's toast. Yep, this guy's toast. Arcane Intellect. Oh well, hello. I can use that. Oh, that was stupid of me, of course. Because that was an absolutely excellent activator for SI7 Agent if I needed one. Oh well. Oh well, I totally forgot about that. And of course, also the Undercity Valiant here. Something needs tinkering? Yep, I definitely should have saved <laughs> that spell. Fortunately, I got the cheap way out with the backstab here, and I might be having an easy way to get rid of it. So that's that, and the random damage, yep, Arcane Missiles. One, two, three. Ah, the last one hit, the, hit it home. And it's actually pretty very bad at this point. I need to kill you. That's going to be backstab and undercity. That looks promising. Victory for Silvanus. Ah, Blade Flurry, thank you. That's cool. Let's continue with some extra. Extra guys up the board and Wind Fury. Oh well, hello. We have seen how powerful Wind Fury is last game with the Shaman. And it seems like he's forced to think of it at least. That's a pretty good sign. Hmm. And he's most definitely unsure what to do at this point. We have pretty good, actually, weapon next turn, because we can put it up, up at 6. Potentially even use Blade Flurry there to clear his table, and... Well, that's not half bad. That's not half bad at all. Okay, so let's just play something, you need to. That just know me. And he was probably hoping for some useful card, which he didn't get. And yes, that's a good one. Stopping me from going face. Oh, well, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How did you get that in there? 
Well, I don't really like you at this point. But it's going to result in activation of the SI7 agent. And he is going to be having overload of 2. So he will be having just 3 mana, which is probably going to result in just Fire Blast if I play Wolf Rider. Hmm. Okay. That seems good enough to me. But I don't have enough mana for that play. Well, that sucks. I'm going to have to use one of the uh, deadly poisons here. Hmm. To get rid of at least you, is it worth it? Yes, it is. Another Arcane Intellect, or another activation. Yeah, we can just keep it. We don't really need anything, and I don't think I have any useful uh, zero or one mana in there at this point. Yeah, I didn't really want to remove uh, the weapon since it had the extra buff from this Jesus ma, my god, goblin, whatnot, auto barber. So I didn't really want to throw it away, and I kind of want him to overdevelop and then possibly use it as a flame strike. And since he opted to frost me, it seems like he doesn't have anti-weapon in there. So it's so far saved the weapon, but I should be using it pretty soon, as again the game is really getting kind of out of hand. So I need to start dealing damage as soon as I can. I have two chargers here, the Wind Fury, so I potentially can do something here. And it seems like we are in for the Blade Fury, Blade Flurry, because we can't really risk him having the six damage together with potentially, I don't know, something else in there like Fireball and whatnot. Okay, so this is going to result in yet more powerful weapon. Of course, I'm going to take that. One of it. Oh, that's not useful. All right. Lights out. Right now, I'm just going to card up to see if I don't get any extra buffs. Sap or Rider, not useful. Hey, so let's just go face. Out. Nothing happened. So that's probably four minions, which means that I can safely play Wolf Rider. Wolf Raider, or rather Arcane Golem. Yeah, I will put him one closer to Flame Strike, which is something I don't want. And I'm going to keep this for potentially the next one. Yep, so that's that. And the next turn. If we survive, we might potentially have lethal because we have a Wind Fury into Arcane Golem, into Wolf Rider. And well, unless this is Ice Block, it could be good to go. Water Elemental, okay. Oh well, that didn't go in the right direction. Well, what kind of spell is this then? He will be at Flame Strike range anyway, so there's absolutely no point in not going for it. Oh, unleash the hounds, hello! Get in there and fight, maggot. That's eight. 11, 14, that's exactly lethal. But I also have to think about you. Ah, oh, I still can kill you. Well played. Hey, lights out. Yep, and that's that. That was expected. That's that. Why not? 
so we have survived and we are living longer here. He has just a 3 health, so that's well in range of our weapon. So let's see if he can survive the turn. If he has double uh, fireball, we are screwed, of course. But he doesn't have that, so we are running a pretty good chance of winning the game in the end. He was definitely hoping that he would win you uh, to that uh, guy there and that the ice block would save him. But well, we played around that quite nicely and right now he's kind of desperate, so yeah. It's just a good signal that we have actually won. He is going to clear everything, but I'm not really all that worried about it. Echo of Medif. Not going to help. Well played. Well and let's just played. make fun of it. <laughs> In a style. Well, that was damn close. We were down to quite low health, but we waited for the right moment. And the combo worked out quite well. Okay, so far so good. So only the total fail at the very beginning for the warrior is the so uh, is the only loss so far. And with paladin, this could be fun. I don't really have enough cards for the proper uh, secret paladin, so that's not going to be anything like that. Even though it's probably going to be similar. And at this point, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's going to be Merlodin. Yes, it's going to be Merlodin. Most definitely, I absolutely love playing this, this deck, and it's super funny. It's super funny, and here it could be absolute, absolutely gorgeous. Yep, that's exactly where we are heading right now, into Murlodin Win. That's a whole ton of minions, and it's, that means we'll be getting a whole ton of spells for that. And it's actually a pretty great synergy right there. And I was thinking about uh, Murloc decks already because they should be pretty great in this meta, in this Tavern Brawl. And let's see if that's really going to be the truth. Uh, no, you can po post links here. I don't really have anything against that so far because I'm really a small channel here. So, yeah, it's kind of easy to manage for me. I don't really have any huge plans at this point. So post away. No, I want Puddle Stomper here. God Light Seer or Gold Light Oracle. God Light Seer, I play him rather in my decks. And of course, more lock of our leader. And then is going to be. Uh, 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 uh. Ormok. Yep. Red guy. And what am I missing at this point? Leroy is fun, and I'm missing some extra guys here that would help me and I'm not exactly sure which ones if no ah now I remember Buklav one time why not why I haven't played him yet in my decks like this but he could be fun and uh, obviously if Sergeant is the one I was looking for to support some extra attack here And yeah, Lepernom actually. I'm missing here. So Mukas Champion, goodbye. Lepernom needs to make needs to make an appearance. And I need to remove one of the cards here. And that's probably at this point going to be one of the secrets. It's probably going to be Avenge. For the Lepernomi. Alright, so let's have a look at the pick. Just posted it, Spoderman. Well, tiny pick. Oh, come on, that's even used today. <laughs> I just thought, or rather assumed, that everybody is using Imgur. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Double Maligos, that's... Oh, wow. 
Double Maligos and those <laughs> Valens in there. That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's pretty cool indeed. And usually the decks, I really love uh, the rogue deck with Maligos. That's absolutely brutal if when it clicks. I haven't played myself because I don't have Maligos when it, but when it is used against me, that's really some epic games usually. Really, totally epic games. Uh, well, this is not ideal. I was hoping for the guy that get, gets one extra damage uh, for well each. Met. But at least we are playing against uh, another Paladin. So let's see how that will work out for us. All the Goldens here. Come on. And uh, it's kind of standard, it seems. Recap, and so far that's going shitty. Uh, but I will play him nonetheless, because he will survive here. And it will waste opponent's turn. Demon Fuse. Well, that sucks, since I don't have any demon. Well, thank you for nothing then. That's quite a low damage. 120 for Fine Bust and 96 for Holy Smite. Oh, and he will get a 0 mana spell potentially there. Mm, that's just terrible shame. Yeah, I was hoping I could make some proper use of it, but I can't. Uh, and well, right now, this is pretty much a hole in my plans. And I will probably need to wait a bit. Arcane Blast. Damage. Well, potentially to finish the Wild Pyromancer here. That's actually good, because it would limit him to just one spell, and he would have to kill everything before that happened. So far I'm not really liking this game, so that's probably going to be another loss. But this Murloc Tide Caller needs to pay, needs to be played in the early turns to be properly useful. Otherwise, that just sucks, and the hand I was handed isn't really all that great. Eh, Arcane Blast, that was the spell. Yep, and we we'll just aim in right now. Kill everything off, and Murloc. Ugh, well, so... Does he have Consecration in his hand? I have to risk it anyway, I don't have a choice here. We get Dragon and Power of the Wild. Power of the Wild would be pretty sweet. It wasn't very bad in this point. It would potentially save Murloc, but if he has the Consecration, it wouldn't help at all. So yeah, that's just going to be this. And Dragon. I kind of don't want to remove any cards from my deck. Uh, Murloc decks are kind of based uh, on the thought that all the cards are pretty much useful and I don't really want to go for the Drakken at this point. Murloc Knight? Oh well, that's a, such a shame that I have wasted my crap. Oh well, maybe right now Drakken will be nice and Betrayal is pretty very bad. God damn it, how can he be so lucky? Core Lights here. Yeah, not good. So yes, right now he's going to be the Drakken and... Well, this is horrible. I will lose Consecration. God damn it, this is absolutely horrible and absolutely screws me up. I can kill the Murloc Knight. I think that's going to be the war. That's going to be worth it at this point. I can't play that. Surrect right. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We're going to let you live. Resurrect, of course. And that's this guy. Okay. 
Avenger, of course. Reporting for duty. And at this point it's worth it to keep you alive. I'm gonna play the lottery, that he doesn't have consecration. It's not like really I have all that much of a choice at this point. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Alright, well it's not really all that much better this large belcher, but still. Oh well. Come on, what kind of spells are you getting for me? Yeah, at least I got a... Well, that's a super strong one. Are you seriously kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me at this point? He's getting all the <laughs> top of the cream and I'm getting all the crap here. He doesn't even get any demon, god damn it, so I could... Uh... Yeah, this is kind of annoying. Hello, that's useful. Yeah, that's not. Huh. Well, I guess that's kind of simple choice here. Reduce the damage that you can actually deal. And yeah, let's just make him think. I'm not really using it for the effect, but to make him think about what he plays. We can he can think that it's another avenge, or that it's I don't know whatever. That it's iron for an eye. It's basically just like I one in no six or whatnot. And Sylvanas Windrunner, that's another very bad news. Pain death. Oh well. Excellent. <laughs> Seriously, I can't really believe this. What kind of spells does he have? I hope there's like two turns wait in Twist in Nether and Pyroblast in turn 8 and turn 10. Because with the luck so far, I cannot guess that's how it's gonna end up. Yeah, that's the cards that I am getting. Alright, so let's head out and see how we can sabotage. Well, alright, that could somehow work. Rock Tide Hunter. It's actually a pretty good weapon removal. So I'm going to leave that in my hand together with Arcane Intellect as a potential combo to, acti to actually activate it. Right now, do we control or do we not? I yes, we do. Uh, maybe you could have killed it off. Well, that's too late now, anyway. Extra healing, alright, not bad. Uh, that's 4-4 four, four, goodbye. Because he's going to use Sylvanas on that. Yeah, here we go. What else would I have thought it could have been, of course? <laughs> Seriously, this is not even funny at this point. Ah, uh, well, why not? No. Oh. That's at least something. Ah. Stuff getting serious at this point. Huh. The battle! Huh? No sacrifice, of course. I must move quickly. Hmm. 
How about just go all in? We have quite a lot of health at this point. Reporting for duty. Let's limit him as much as he can. And actually if we get a slightly lucky draw next turn, we might be actually able to win if he doesn't have Consecration again. But with the luck I'm getting here, I'm kinda thinking he does have some removal. Emperor Thor is sun. Alright, so what kind of 5 mana spell do we get now? Or rather 6 mana. I hope kinda for Blizzard. Which he doesn't have. Okay, so he is removing and trying to steal someone. So that's going to be... Actually stealing the 1-1 one -one would have been pretty cool. Yep, so that's 4-3. So, a removal spell. A recycle. Shuffle into deck. That didn't help. And we have an end table yet again. Through some absolutely perfect spells on his part. Yeah. That's probably not going to cut it. Right, of course. And I'm surely, uh, slowly but surely getting used to the idea of actually replaying with my Paladin here. Just taking quite some time this battle. Put your faith in the light. And of course you have Tyrion, which is a player, or rather, guy that I don't have. The game Hunter as well, okay. So you have pretty much everything in there. And I can't even use the sabotage right now because I wouldn't really gain anything at all. Integration. Yeah, well. Sadly, something. Reporting for duty. Be some kind of chance of killing it. I'm giving him five weapon, but still I need to get rid of the taunt, so good luck. Yes! <laughs> At least that went well for me. So that's a taunter gone, and potentially some opportunity to close up, even though I don't have really enough spells here, so it shouldn't be in my power anymore. Unfortunately, no. Just Tyrion. Pay attention, class. Tell me he has another one charge, of course. I am ready to learn. A Y on him? <laughs> Can you believe this? Uh, what have I ever done to anyone in Hearthstone? <laughs> what the hell is this supposed to mean now? <laughs> yeah, of course, even crashing that. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, what was this? That was some absolutely horrible, ugly, oh my, I don't want to go through this yet again. That was... That was such a painful experience to play this game. <laughs> I just can't believe it. And even though it was such a horrible game, I just at least got him to 11 health. Well, okay, this was... this was something. This was really something to remember. Uther versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. 
and we are playing against Malfurion, so this could be potentially easier, but I don't really think so. He could potentially have quite a lot of taunters. Murloc war leader, okay. I don't trust well, but still, and not the tight caller. Ah, here he is. Hello. And right now, foy foy, that he doesn't have. Wrath, which is pretty much the only spell that can stop me, stop me at this point. Doesn't seem like he has it, but he's thinking quite a lot here. So we might be just in luck, and we have a Murloc Titan Hunter here, and for potentially turn three, either War Leader and God Light Seer. This is looking decidedly promising at this point. Fine spirit, hello. Well, that wouldn't really serve anything in case uh, he had. Oh, wow, inner weight with swipe. But I'm going to play the noble sacrifice, of course, to protect either of these guys. So, hope for a bit of a good luck. I don't big owl. Well, yeah, but it definitely could have gone worse. Quick shot, alright. Yeah, it most definitely could have gone a lot worse at this point. So, that seems like a war leader at this point. Wolch! Okay, that could help us uh, actually overcome taunters. That's pretty good. So thank you very much, RNG. That is a welcome help. Should I control you first? Hmm. I want to protect you. That's most definite here. Six health. And I will probably control you at this point. I think that's slightly better course of action, but still we are not in... Yeah, right now it's going to be swipe. Oh, there's a tomb, tomb spider, okay. So things are developing pretty great for us so far. Yeah, here it is, it's the swipe. He actually did receive it. He actually did receive it, god damn it. Three, 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 three. I don't need to worry about them all that much. Let's hear more luck. But I will clear you. Play more luck, knight. Poison seeds, hello. And hope that both of you can survive until the next turn so that I can buff you up by Cold Lights here upon play and reinforcement. So what kind of spell? So all the forest, yeah, it's not that bad. And we will have a way of getting rid of you. Hungry crap, okay. Well, let's see what we summon. Alright, hello. Now let's buff up, buff up our health. Well, this is pretty much how we would like it at this point. And skill command is pretty cool, even though it's kinda shame <laughs> we don't have a beast. In the hungry crap. Uh, at this point do we control? Kind of we do. It's at this point worth it, I think. Ah, hello, Manti Traptor. So, do we actually get the drop back or not? Because. Oh, Polymorph Boar. That's not how bad, actually. Thank you for that. Even though we could have gotten some extra guy to help us, it's not all that bad. And, well, you're not going anywhere. And right now, the game is getting out of your hands. Because you'll be having quite a lot of damage. That's 8. Uh, 12. 13, 17, ah, it's lethal. 
Well played. I can see. Yep, it's well played because Gormok the Impaler would be good enough. Yep, that was pretty fun, and the Murlodin was the correct decision to go for. And well, right now let's go for Hunter. I kind of think that we're going to choose something rather standard. That's going to be pretty much normal phase Hunter, I think. Not really anything extra. Just Mark, of course. Uh, Timberwolf. Spinner, why not? Glavizuka, yes. Big shot, yes. Snake trap, yes. Rohan, of course. Animal companion. Then, I'm looking at the scavenging hyena a bit here, but not really all that much. No, I have Golden Hound Masters. Hmm. Probably going to remove Cobra Shot pretty soon. Okay, so Cobra Shot, goodbye. Or Knife Juggler, because of the Snake Trap and whatnot. And together with that, that's going to be... Oh, 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 oh. what? Since I have Glavizuka here, I'm just going to reduce the Horned Bolts at just the one. Also just one Glavizuka to play some haunted creepers. And right now I'm just going to support it some extra ton, uh, chargers. And that means I'm going to have to remove some extras. I think I've already missed uh, Arcane Golems. Yep, here they are. So no Savannah High Main, so they are just too expensive. Uh, to my liking, and well, where are you? Of course, we'll find it here. Let's just remove the abusive sergeant. And then the last one to make an appearance in this game is going to be Leroy Jenkins. Probably instead of one of those full freighters. Okay, so let's see how this phase hunter does. Yeah, this is pretty cool start to have Knife Juggler together with Klavizuka, so that's a potential good start. An Archaic Golem, alright, why not? Greetings, traveler. Hmm, was hoping for a uh, web spinner, would have been slightly better, but still not bad. And we could work with this. My greetings. Greetings, traveler. Can't play Knife Juggler now. Glavizuka would be without any extra effect. At the same time, we probably need to stop him. 
Let me just go face. I kinda need to stop him at this point. Which is going to be knife juggler at this point. And wild growth. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. But that is going to help us some extra mana. So thank you for that. Yeah, let's keep the weapon for the time being. Face, 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 face. No. Oh well. Now that's everything gone. And with my kind of luck, he will draw into Leroy Jenkins. And since he was looking for it that long, yeah, kind of sure that's what it was. And of course, yes, a wrath for zero mana. Well, this is already looking I like a replay, but at this time I'm just gonna need to get rid of you. Because you are pretty annoying at this point, and well. Face. Another night on the prowl. Another night on the prowl. Yeah, double charges. At this point, how about unleash the hounds next turn? Yeah, of course, get explorers out. Why, why not? Why not have everything? No problem at all with that. Unleash the hounds, unleash the hounds, unleash the hounds, unleash the hounds, unleash the hounds. Nothing else is acceptable at this point. For no one. You just need to send me one card only. So concentrate deck. Concentrate very well. Mm, oh, of course you screwed it up. <laughs> oh well. What am I supposed to do at this point? That's another 8 damage, 9 damage into my face. Play Empty Hound Master? What? What's up with that? Wouldn't help at all. What kind of death rattle does he have? Okay. Just some extra damage. Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense at this point to play anything. Yeah, possibly, but well, at this point. I'm not really trusting that would be <laughs> what would happen. Even though that's just <laughs> obviously subjective, but well, yeah. I'm still kinda hoping that the Houndmaster might save me. And of course, yep, he did get Leroy. Exactly as I expected, and here's Heroic Strike, of course. And Lightning Bolt. Oh, yeah, here we go. And Inner Wait, and what's going to be the next? Root Hoarder, and I'd expect something like Frostbolt. Oh, Flare, of course, to get rid of the secret, that's not bad at all. And Betrayal. <laughs> Pretty good array of spells. I have to say, this wasn't a funny game. <laughs> Okay, so let's try again. Maybe this time it's going to go slightly better. Rex 
Nexar versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Let's the hunt. Yeah, this begin. is the guy that I wanted, and well, we are playing against another druid. Animal companion once stays and the hounds. Well, hopefully the druid won't play the same crap again. I'm just going to keep one animal companion and hope for something slightly better. Yeah, that's a pretty good start, even though the other are crap. Greetings, traveler. My greetings. Well, that could have gone slightly worse. Or, or also better. <laughs> Uh, I need actually something to play here. Give me something, boys. Animal Companion is not exactly a great play at this point, so I'm just going to pass the turn. Because uh, then, next turn we will have to play what? For 3 mana skill command. That would be pretty much it. Yet another skill command. Right now I can attempt it to use at least one of those to get rid of you. It's kinda a waste, but since he's playing Nagi Chuggler, he is playing an aggro deck. And I don't think that's going to be a mistake at this point, getting rid of him. Put this apple on your head. I'm gonna write up another one, but at least we have stopped the onslaught. Of the cheap minions for the time being, that is. Another night on the prowl. Yeah, it's basically the same druid as the first one was playing. Okay, so again, I'm kinda wishing for the Unleash the Hounds <laughs> to be somewhere close by. Fff. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't exactly help. It doesn't really exactly help all that much, but with Double Hunter's Mark in our hand, that could actually mean some proper combo later on. If we get to the later on. <laughs> Use another skill command on you. Oh well. Really, no choice. I have to get rid of him so that he has to use something else to get rid of the 2 1 at least. It's pretty, pretty sad to be using the 10 damage like that. But well, it had to be done. Are you kidding me? Ah oh, well, that's finally something useful, even though it's not a minion. But it's not half bad, uh, this is going to, uh, to help us get through uh, the problems here. Oh, at least in that, it is useful. And that's potentially 4 damage. Yeah, let's go for Summon Huffer. And it's Misha. Hmm? Yeah, that's not how bad. Unless he has swipe, that could actually help us. He would be forced to actually gain the table. At least the 3 2 and potentially face. Well, let's see if he does have some removal in the cards there. Where shall I strike? Now, okay, in the defense, so Hunter's Mark could be making an appearance here, as it would be a pretty decent way, or we could just Houndmaster you and survive and, well, 
Lava shock, okay. So, no, you are not going to survive. Why would exactly you do that? A natural mistake. Yeah. Bathe in flame. Time waits for no one. Yeah, it really doesn't. Well, it kind of sucks because I would like to know what I get for the three mana spell. But at the same time, I need to get rid of the Druid of the Claw first. And this one is not really dangerous. not half bad. That's actually a pretty good solution to the problem here. And do we control you at this point? Uh, wow, that's tough call. I have to go face. I'm hunter here, so yeah, let's go face. That's what this deck is about and hope for the best. Oh, <laughs> another, another, well. no, no, that did not happen. That did not just happen. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> I, I completely refuse to believe that just happened. <laughs> that's that's un ultimately impossible. That's seriously. <laughs> Where that came from, I have no idea. What the hell? And yeah, at this point I just have to hope for something useful from the Houndmaster. Because we are getting at a criti critical point. Yes, that is not bad. It doesn't really help all as much as I would have hoped. It's a shame that he's stealthed. Uh, but some potential is here. And I'm going to steal the one minion here. Or not. Because yet again, he got the absolutely correct secret <laughs> for the situation. Oh, God damn it! I couldn't have really used the other ones because they are much too powerful for that. So it was just inevitable that I that would happen. of course, so that I can't do anything at all. And he does have the Unleash the Hounds, come on, there's something I need. But right now, if I get Unleash the Hounds, that would get pretty ugly for him. Because that's going to be 5 minions. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So do we have a closer there? No, we don't. Oh, hello. Hello, Unleash the Houndies. And we actually can make it absolutely brutal through Leroy. We can put up seven minions on his board. And we get still just five. Because we have two already taken. So, yeah, that would be all that useful. Unfortunately, which is really a shame. But at the same time, we have nothing to lose at this point, because you will be getting extra spell. Excavated Evil, deal 3 damage to all minions, shuffle this card into your opponent's deck. Oh, uh, well, that's interesting. We can deal 6 damage at this stage. Rise to be seven damage. Yeah, that's not enough for lethal. I hunt alone. 
Yeah, there was absolutely no way to actually get rid of that ball. It was very close. I almost did have lethal. I just needed something extra from the Leroy. Some extra damage. If it was like three or four, then he was dead. But unfortunately, I just didn't get it. I got this absolutely useless spell in this case. Could have just killed everything, but I would have no close in here. And maybe, maybe I could have. I have four health. I have four health. I could have cleaned the table altogether. I could have went with enough minions into face. But maybe I did misplay. Maybe I did. Maybe there was a way. I would have used like uh, two minions uh, to unleash the hounds on his minions. That means uh, if a three would have been left, that's 19, 12 damage into his face. From like 17 or whatnot. God damn it, I probably misplayed. There probably is a, was a way to actually survive. Maybe with a bit of luck win. If he didn't have uh, any finisher on me. Could have maybe worked. Oh my, that's such a shame. I would love to replay that game actually. Yeah, I totally missed that. That I could have cleared the table. And dealt quite a lot of damage to actually put him at the ropes there. Oh well happens. It's quite late, it's 4am, so <laughs> those misplays are kinda understandable at this point, I would say. Even though they do suck. Ah, finally! Web spinner at first turn, hello! Alright, that's not bad, especially in combination with Knife Juggler. And I'm gonna let you die here, because the combination with Knife Juggler is much more fun. And he doesn't even kill it. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. So let's see what happens. Yeah, bad news for you. Sorry. This is off to a pretty great start. Especially with having Leroy in my hand and the extra 4 damage from Seal of Flight and the weapon here. Wow. <laughs> this could really be end by turn 5. Very easily. Very easily indeed. <laughs> Lavizuka for one extra damage or... Oh, it doesn't really matter at this point now, does it? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for all the damage I can right now take. And Fab, good job! Rich Legend, well... I just congratulate our friend in the friend list. And really, this is seriously aiming at win at turn 5. <laughs> but that will probably be the luckiest game so far. Pay attention, class! Yeah, that's probably not going to save you. No, think master. Well. That's quite a lot of luck. I the hounds. Okay, this is a skeleton. Something very reasonable for us. This be a good time to actually call for unleash the hounds. Well, I'm going face, that's for sure. I'm gonna wait with Unleash the Hounds here and go for Glavizuka for the extra attack on some of those minions. And that's on the Taunter, that's not bad. And, well, let's go face then. Also, I'm also going to remove you. For King's Alec, which is just as fine, and yeah, this is end by turn 5. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm just right now tempted to tell him uh, that it's well played, but well, he doesn't know yet. It's going to be 6. Give me a quest. 10 damage, just like that. 
And if he goes with face into the 3 2, well, he can't really do anything about it. Yes, he does. So, do we have some healer up? Probably not. It would be sorely disappointing if he had the 8 heal or anything, but well, he doesn't. Okay, so it seems to be heading into the GG. So, pretty good game. <laughs> Finally, a bit of luck at least with uh, the Hunter, and well, we'll be moving on to the last one in the second row. Everybody get in here, of course. So that's a lot of gold. Yeah, right now I'm just uh, uh, saving gold, especially for, of course, the League of Explorers. I'm still waiting for the second wing. I haven't had time yet to play it, but I'm hoping to get it, get to it in the next uh, following week before. Third wing actually is released, and well, it was a pretty good adventure so far. I have to say it's pretty much the best of them all. It's not really that difficult in any of those difficulties, normal, heroic, and class challenge is just a joke again. But otherwise, it really feels like an adventure, and I definitely love the temple escape. That was so nice, and really, it was pretty fun. Okay, so what are we going to include in the raid, and what were they playing? Something brutally offensive, but I don't have all the cards for that. Uh, so I'm kind of afraid I'll have to play something else. Maybe just one root of the saber here. No. How about playing actually Beast Hunter? Yeah, let's play Beast Hunter, that's fun. I kinda like playing that lately. So that means those two. Haunted Creeper is kinda weak for that. Not really like it all that much, but Shoot Scarab is pretty useful because he is a beast. Iron Beak Owl quite assuredly is also pretty useful, and otherwise, uh, I think, um, if I remember co correctly, I'm including some extra controls, like possibly youthful. No, no, I would be out of cards, so no. I kind of need some control in there. champion that's kind of a bit expensive for what I play here so probably not that useful but stampeding Koro could be fun and what could he replace here Root of the flame is cool uh, Jules Scarab as well Savage Roar oh, Druid of the Saber hmm. even though Druid of the Saber he does transform into beasts right Nice Drobo Cup. Yep, that's a guy I'm not playing really. So at least the one Stampeding Goro and. Oh, the last one is going to be whom? Uh, Sylvanas Black Knight. Uh, I kind of like Black Knight. It's really my favorite legendary, I have to say. Because of the ability to just kill unit right off the bat. That's pretty fun. And quite useful indeed.
Furion versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. Well, I don't remember if I've played against Shaman today. I actually don't think so. Maybe once. But I do remember <laughs> the pretty great game I had with Shaman myself. Because that really was something. Uh, <laughs> that was the Berlin Zepomatic against the Warlock, and that was really great. And well, so far, having Knight of the Wild in the hand is pretty great in Beast My Druid. As uh, so that really will be useful, Maybe but otherwise, ready. yeah, this is kinda crap. Not having anything to play in the early game. And unfortunately, it's a top turn one. Okay then, so let's just begin with the Jules Scarab. And what do we get here? A demon fire. Well, okay, but we don't have demons, so that's basically a damage. And mind control tech should be fun in case this develops, which this is bound to. Because, of course, we are playing against a totem shaman. Oh well, this is going to escalate quickly. And a secret, really. Oh, with my luck this is going to be the snake trap. Well, at this point I'm kinda choosing between uh, going for the flame tank or killing him off. And I will probably try to kill him off, so let's see. Okay, so it's a freezing trap. Oh, it's not all that bad. And I can still kill you. I think I will. I will. Uh, I have just to decide how, and it's going to be through Wrath. And I don't really need the card draw. I have enough here, so I'm just going to kill him. Shredder. That's a good candidate candidate for a silencing at this point. Or also just going for the druid. Where shall I see Solemn well, Vigil. So extra cards. We are at 3, 6, 8. So that would mean 9, 10. Uh, okay. That's quite a lot at this point. So I would kinda like not to clutter my hand all too much. In case he had some card draw for me, which wouldn't be really all that great. Ancestral Spirit, well that sucks. Did you bring some fish? But hello, you will be any chance for my control deck, so thank you for that. <laughs> and he did get the birdie. Yep, on the bit of the call. Okay, so will we get him as well? Well, I don't want him. So either we go for Druid of the Claw or the Mind Control Tech and hope for the best. Since there are three totems, that's just kinda low opportunity to actually steal him. Don't really like that all that much. At the same time, hmm, what better chance I, am I going to get going to this the Mind Control Tech? It actually didn't go all that bad. That was the second best option, actually. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for that. And Burgle, yeah, I would be overcarded, so I can't really go for that. 3, 6, 9, yeah, we would be at 10. And who knows what would we get. So that's Fire Elemental, of course. 
And well, what are we supposed to do with, do with this hand? <laughs> or rather this table. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Because it's not really all that easy. Well, Where shall I strike? Uh, this is the first thing to do. Oh, hello, that's not bad. Hello, hello, hello. Three damage to all. Kills almost everything. I will probably wait a turn and hope for the best turn of events here. Because I, I kinda want him to have a bit more minions and I hope that the 6-5, the fire elemental, will attack exactly like this and I will be able to clear the table next turn, pretty much. And after I silence at least... yeah, here's the second one. Okay. I was hoping to silence the pilot each shredder and then kill everything. But right now that's not going to be all that easy. Oh, well, crap. Don't tell me you have a finisher. Of course, for, for mana hellfire and <laughs> the hellfire. What the freaking hell. Well, that misfired. Well, that misfired most definitely. But I still think that was the right course of action actually to wait for the better table because really it was playing quite well so far until those hellfires came. I must protect the wild. Yeah, so Druid and Scarab are pretty good draws in this early game. Druid of the Fang and Inner Weight, of course. That will help us well. My greetings. The light protects me. Greetings. And it's going to be slightly different aggro. Not totem, but some kind of normal aggro. And well, do we start with something against you? No. No. Let's play this slowly. We have good enough cards, and right now, yeah, you could be glad that we actually left the inner weight here because you will have to use Keeper of the Grove to get rid of you. Or not. Ah, oh, but yeah, you will be a pretty good muscle on the board at this point of the game. Not bad. No, no, no. No combo like I did. I don't really like to see that against me. Oof. Oof. God damn it. Where did that come from? Well, that needs to result in pretty much one thing here, which is this. And, and the root of the core coming in, and well, then coin in into root scarab. Yes. Oh, growth, tender, cold light seer, and healing touch. Well, I'm kinda gonna go for a minion here rather than healing because of the extra potential to actually get something here and bolster is not exactly not half bad considering that we have the root of the claw here that could work out oh 
Oh well, that's pretty horrible. Oof, 3-5, that's tough. Oh my god. <laughs> he had so many spells to make use of this lock and load. He had so many spells and, well, yeah, that's most certainly getting out of hand here. Let's see if you get at least slightly lucky. Yeah, at least that. So that's explosive trap most probably. That's about it. About what we know. And we can't really overload at this point. That would be absolutely horrible. So yeah, that's not really happening. And I'm sabotaging at this point. And that went pretty well. I was hoping for that hit. And well, on top of that, probably an extra minion. And as bad as it looked, suddenly it's kinda at least okay. Not really great, but not bad either. Well, with Druid of the Claw here and the Bolster, I might be really interested in playing it. It might be a pretty good idea at that point, so not really all that much of a problem. And we get Keeper of the Grove. Huh. Well, I kinda want to keep the silence for something slightly better. So that's that. That's next. Oh. Bolstro or anything else? Because right now we are unfortunately having two spells that give us extra cards. Which means I will be still at 6, even if crap happens, so it at this point doesn't really matter. So I could only draw into like inner weight, yeah, which I don't. Time waits for no one. So I just make this stronger. I get a little view, and I hope that you don't have hex. Or something like flame lands or whatnot. Give me a quest. Two heroes enter. One hero leaves. Well, this is starting to get interesting. Little time. Ah. <laughs> well, that's a serious array of spells. What the hell just happened yet again? Hmm. Well, that was pretty interesting. I must safeguard them. I must safeguard them. Ha! Oh. Oh. Ha! That's actually a good one. So I'm just gonna check for yet another counter spell, which it is. So okay, that's a good one. And well, let's go for it. 
it's three damage. Well, that's quite a lot. So do we have to extra damage? Possibly he does have explosive trap in there, so I will have to be careful. But still, if I don't get some useful spells out of the thing is here, yeah, this is not really going to help me all that much. Yep, summoning stone unfortunately is a pretty good thing, so I might be wanting to actually include it in my deck. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yep, so what do you get? Uh, 4 6 zero. All right. And swipe. Well, that does help to some extent. Not to play this correctly. Well, I don't have enough mana though with Stampede and Godo. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's kinda crap. So the only chance right now is to get something really useful with Stampede and Godo. I have absolutely no idea what that could be. Well, this could be it. Okay. 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 Okay, show me. Show me this guy surviving. <laughs> Stampede Goro, you need to remain. Yes, no! Almost! Almost there! Almost there! <laughs> well, that was fun. It's so always just test All right now for. Yep, the explosive trap, of course. God damn it, that was almost. almost there. <laughs> that would have been terribly funny, actually, <laughs> if that worked out. <laughs> well, but I didn't, and I need to include some early minions because this isn't working for me. I need to check for something slightly better in here, and that's going to be Power of the Wild gone. And insert in some proper minions. Which minions could that be? Bloodfen Raptor, since we are playing Beast 1. Potentially, why not? Yeah, Big Game Hunter hasn't really seen any use whatsoever. Let's just include Anaviotron just for the fun of it. Ah, yeah, that could be it. Savage Roar just once. Yeah, that could be it. It could be slightly better. Well, swipe against Paladin is definitely a must-have. Wrath as well, Savage or no. And I hope for some uh, good minions. Well, yeah, that's not exactly what I was hoping for here. Definitely could have been better, but really, the swipe, that's a must-have. The table for this guy can develop pretty badly. And right now, we need all the help we can get. I'm just gonna coin in the Jules Scarab at this point, as it seems worth it. It is. Ooh. Ooh. But we don't have really any boosts. But since we'll be getting some extra spells, 
Ah uh, yeah, but there are a mage with the swipe double wrath in my hand. That does have promise. So let's make use of this really crappy card otherwise. <laughs> in this spe specific scenario, it could actually be pretty decent. Yeah, you will die. Swipe here. Alright, so I think this is going to be the Dara Mage. This is Dara Mage Shield Bog, okay. We're going to deactivate the Divine Shield. This is pretty good play and Resurrect. No, not really. I don't want that weak link in there just yet, but Shield Block. We draw a card. We can come in later potentially. No need really for it right now. Put this apple on your head. Okay, so juggler and just the reinforcement. Yep. Reporting for duty. Don't tell me you have a finisher. Okay, just rampage. Yeah, that's no problem because we have the double swipe here, and this is a pretty sweet spot to use it. So, goodbye. And Dalaran Mage being useful. Hello. <laughs> exactly. Exactly like that. I wield the power of blood. Oh, <laughs> flame lens of this guy. Come on. But right now I will need to get rid of this because it's very really powerful, and I yet again forgot to include it in. God damn it! Ah, uh, but oh, hello, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Summon in stone. That's not really helping you at this point. So that's that, and well, we need some extra cards at this point. No, we don't. I'll just remain with what we have. And swipe next turn could be useful as well. Possibly if we can get lucky with the Resurrect into the Dalaran Mage yet again. Let yep, that was a seriously great Kodo at this point. Seriously great Koro, and yeah, definitely I'm going to hope that Resurrect will pick the Dalaran Mage of all the 3 minions so far. And if he does, then that's going to be sorely disappointing for my opponent. Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That, that just happened. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> oh well, I feel almost sorry for my opponent at this point, almost, 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 so nourish for extra mana or what? what to do? Extra cards, we have, we have pretty decent combos in our hands at this point. Block. Uh, I will try to activate the trap at this point. Yep, it is exactly explosive trap, so thank you for that. Just gonna... Doesn't really serve any purpose to play it. I'm not really in a threat right now. And if I need some extra cards after crappy anything, I can just draw it. And right now, not even this guy is going to hurt me all that much, because I still have the Root of the Call in my hand. Four, one, yeah, I don't have enough at this point. Where shall 
I strike. Oh, that's not bad. For the wild. And that's going to be just enough damage to kill this guy without any problem. And I can probably kill him with just wrath. And if this guy stays alive, it would be a pretty easy kill. Uh, what's that? Yeah, that's just an explorer's head. Okay, so no problem. Mortal strike for damage. Oh, yes, consecration. God damn it. Yeah, well, that didn't help. That did not help, so how about Force of Nature? That could be a table clearer. Yeah, 4 damage for free. Yeah, 3, 6, 9. Let's see what we can draw through the shield block. Yeah, that's not good enough. 3, 6, 9. Well, yeah, that would be slightly too much. We can kill you, we can kill you as well. Okay, let's do it. That's not bad. Time waits for no one. <laughs> Cards up. Three, six, nine. Yep, that's enough. Hmm. Sacrificing his own guy for actually drawing a card. That's very interesting. It just shows that he has absolute crap in his hand. Yeah, this is a pretty good draw at this point. And he was hoping for some extra minions. Well, interesting. Oh, what are we going to play? We kind of need some kind of taunter, but we don't have one. Which is bad news. And, well, I will probably start with Druid of the Flame here. The fine hawk form, which is vaporize. Yeah, that's not bad. But we need to be careful of the stone splitter nonsense here. But we can kill him without any problem, so. Yep. Goodbye. Are you making any more troubles for me? Bathe in flames. Yet another one, and Charger, well, hello. Justin. Stealth. Not useful. Not useful at this point, so just Blood from Raptor. And another spell, which is... Oh, well. Well, Vaporize for sure, and do we really charge in here? I don't really think that's all that useful. And revenge into anything... Yeah, no. That's not happening at this point. Give me a quest. Quest in adventure. That's also a pretty good card that I should include in my next decks. Yes, ex exactly vaporize. And revenge is starting to be useful. So concentration for uh, consecration for nothing beneath the grounds. Oh well, thank you very much. That's also pretty great. Spotters head. Yay! Yay! Oh, 
Well, this got funny. Uh, this got decidedly funny, uh, but still not really all that problematic. You will transform it to Charger. Yeah, that's not bad. Not interested in you at all. And well, well, well. Oh. What do you have there? Yeah, so into you. Take a walk and the of you. Then. Revenge. And then. Lava shock. Then plus a raptor. Get something extra on the board and. That's about it, I guess. Well, that was nice table clearing. Follow the rules. And follow the rules, hello. We have a pretty good array of control spells at this point. We have the charge to actually give some minion something extra. We have a pretty cheap Knight of the Wild, which is a 6-6. Six -six, and he has already used Aldor Peacekeeper. And he is forced to use extra weapon against the minion, which is great. Hammer of Wrath, Cleave. Times two. Not how bad. If he pulls up a million age, he does, so thank you for the mistake. Well mistake. <laughs> Couldn't have known. But well, it does help. Snakes. It has to be snakes. Holy ref. <laughs> Not bad. So this mm. Firewolf Alpha. I'm actually going to use uh, this gal on the left. Born to be wild. And I'll probably use a, just a charge on you. Just for the fun of it. To apply some extra pressure on our nice opponent. And let's see what he actually can get as a damage. Maybe we can kill him. Do damage. Do damage. Three. Ah, uh, yeah, you have a lethal. Well played. For the wild. <laughs> well, that was kind of lethal out of nothing that I did not expect, but well, it was there, and I'm pretty glad that I noticed it actually. <laughs> that we could close the game off. Okay, so that's the druid done, and on the quest also done, and well, all right, that was pretty fun.